Today, the Toyota destination is the eastern end of Lake Erie. Charlie is joined by his daughter, Jessica, to enjoy the tremendous fall action for the smallmouth bass and what to do if conditions have changed from the usual. Later in the show, Charlie also had the chance to fish with Jeff Pierce from Mustad. He explains a new breakthrough in hook technology that will help you catch more fish than ever before. That's why Mustad created new Ultra Point premium hooks. They're ultra sharp and ultra strong. Here's a standard needle point with just three pounds of pressure. Now here's Ultra Point with three pounds. You get the point. New Ultra Point hooks from Mustad. They're ultra sharp and ultra strong. So you'll have no problem catching more fish. Indian heritage is rich with tradition. Their tribal process of smoke curing meat and fish has created flavors which are now considered delicacies. With Allure Jensen's Little Chief or Big Chief Smokehouse, you can easily create your own delicious smoked fish, beef jerky, poultry, and wild game. These traditional smokehouse treats are smoke cured naturally in Little Chief and Big Chief Smokehouses. Another Lure Jensen original, available at finer sporting goods stores. You're looking at a lean, mean, finesse fishing machine. 2,600 cc's of non-stop thumping action. The swimming fin keeps moving even when the road doesn't. And it's proven to catch the big hogs by our team of <clears throat> research personnel. Any questions? From the bad boys of fishing, it's the culprit swim fin, turbocharged at a tackle dealer near you. Hi, I'm Charlie Ray, and welcome to Fishful Thinking. Today, I'm joined by my daughter, Jess, and we're going to take advantage of some of the great fishing out here on Lake Erie. But it's not great for everybody. If you're not using salt tubes, and Culprit's got a great salt tube out, you're not catching as many fish as you can be. The other thing that I've brought Jess along with me for, Mustad's got a great hook out. It's called the Ultra Point, and it's so sharp that even with a little bit of pressure, it'll go right through a little girl's hand. Daddy. No, I'm just kidding. I Actually, I want to prove a point. Even my nine-year-old girl can set the hook on these bass with a pile of line out and handle them all by herself. Just incredibly sharp. The H2 Optics UV watch is expected to only reach a high today of 2.7. It's a very cold fall day. Water temp, 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Water clarity, very poor. Been a solid week of high winds. You like a good one? Oh yeah, it feels like a pretty good fish. You okay with that outfit? Yeah. <laughs> Gloves on, the whole works. I'm surprised you stuck that fish. Oh. That's not bad, Jess. I think I might be able to lift that one this in though. That's a pretty good fish. Yeah, oh, that is a nice little bass. 
perfect hook set, and you had no problem setting that hook. No. Well, real nice fish, Jess. Yeah. I know you've caught better though. Yeah. <laughs> How's that feel, Jess? Pretty good. Yeah, that made a big difference. We've had a uh, an awful lot of wind the last couple of days, and in a lake where you normally have 25 foot visibility, we can only see about two feet, maybe a foot and a half. And what I've done with this Carolina rig is instead of leaving my normal four foot lead of monofilament, watch the drips off, Jess. Okay. Instead of leaving the, uh, the normal four foot lead of monofilament, oh, Jess, you're gonna get me wrapped right in that. I've shortened it right down because the fish can hear that sinker bouncing bottom. And if the, if the salt tube, if the culprit salt tube is too far behind, then it's never going to see the lure. So I moved that a little closer than I normally use out here, and it's made a huge difference. That's not bad. Nice, not That's bad. Good. And you're doing really good at hooking these. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's a combination. Spider wire line, which you absolutely have to use for the sensitivity when you're using this much line, but it's that new Mustad Ultra Point. You've never been able to hook fish like that before. I know that. Oh. Jess fishes with me an awful lot, and I, she loses an awful lot of fish. <laughs> and uh, she's doing really good with this. Don't wipe the slime off on. There we go. Nice fish, Jess. Does he feel good? Yeah, I don't feel bad. It's hard to tell in this real murky water, Jess. They're not coming up to jump. No, you see, yeah, he's not bad. Yeah. Nice chunky fish. Mm-hmm. Well, see, that's what happens when you stay out here everybody else quit today because of the murky water everyone's so used to coming out here when the water's crystal clean and catching fish 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 what do you do when the water's murky like this shorten up your lead so the sinker attracts the fish and persistence you can tell just by how light colored these fish are that the water's murkier than usual because they're usually a different color not bad no not bad Now, what I'm doing out here, most guys out in the area, they throw a drift sock over and they let her go. Obviously, when it's this murky, you've got to give it an ultra slow presentation. So it's not only good enough for the drift sock, I use that just to slow the momentum of the boat. But I've got the Minn Kota at the front and I keep using that to bump myself. Yeah, the drift sock's going to fold here, but it stops the boat dead and it gives the fish a real chance to hit that lure without being moved when they're really finicky like they are right now you've got to give them a dead calm presentation oh missed one just like that as soon as that got to the bottom and stopped something was on it it makes a big difference usually out here you can come out here and drift and they'll hit it when the water's murky like this after a good blow you've got to stop it gee that's better than i thought jess you got it wrapped up in the other line so i'm going to grab him quick Okay. I didn't even uh, get out of your way for this one because <laughs> he didn't look that big. But. He's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how many other kids can say they catch fish like this. But you can if you come out here using these culprit salt tubes. They just love them. They love them. Good one, kiddo. <laughs> Now, the setup I'm using, I'm using the most sensitive method I could possibly use. I'm using one of these St. Croix Avid rods. I've got it loaded up with spider wire. And basically, all I'm doing is a Carolina rig. I've got an egg sinker. This is a three quarter ounce. To a barrel swivel. And to a little length of monofilament. And on that, I've got one of these new Mustad tube hooks. Now, let me show you exactly what I'm doing to rig these. To rig this properly, Jess, can you hand me a new, a new tube, please? Yeah. I'm going to put a new one on. This is one of these new Ultra Points. No, that's good, hon. Thank you. This is one of these new Mustad Ultra Points. The whole method behind these is it's extremely sharp right out of the package. No more sharpening hooks, which to me is incredibly important. Now, to rig this, all I am doing is sticking it right in the middle of the tube, 
maybe go in a centimeter or a quarter of an inch, maybe not quite even that. Slide her right up the hook, right to the eye. You can bury your, uh, your knot if you'd like. And I just work that up through the tentacles and pop that right through. And basically what you've got is almost a weedless presentation. But what that does is when that smallie sucks that down into his throat, it doesn't catch on anything in his throat until it gets to the corner of his mouth. So you're not hurting any of the fish. But this is the exact same method I used. I had Jeff Pierce from Mustad up the other day. This is the exact same presentation we used, except in the clear water, our leads were about four feet. But He's a man to talk to about hooks, and I had a few questions for him. When you're out on the water having a good time, you don't want to settle for second best. You want to have an outboard with a reputation of being the durability and reliability leader. You want the best. You want a Yamaha outboard. Man, you want the best. Yamaha, Yamaha. Yamaha outboards. When you want the best. There's a simple idea behind the new Genesis trolling motor. It features the push button ease of power stow and deploy. The control of power steering with autopilot. The convenience of power trim. The new Minkota Genesis. Pushing all the right buttons to help you catch fish. Call toll free today. getting a grip? Introducing Fram Extra Guard Oil Filters with SureGrip. Build for Butterfingers. You're serious about your fishing boat, so get serious about your sunglasses. Be a pro and hook onto a pair of H2 Optics by Serengeti. H2 Optics are polarized to let you see the fish underwater, and they're so lightweight you'll hardly know you're wearing them. In Toronto, call 905-629-8333 to find out more. Outside Toronto, call 1-800-263-0100. Good thing the bass don't wear H2 optics. Angling to catch the big one? <laughs> oh, man. Then cast off with the weekend fisherman. Outdoorsman Frank Papineau tackles the adventures every Sunday afternoon from some of the best fishing holes across the country. Bury your hook into the weekend fisherman. Today at 2.30 Eastern on the Outdoor Life Network. All you have to do is add the water. The Weekend Fisherman, a part of Rods and Reels. The other day in a local department store, I had an elderly gentleman approach me that watches a show, and I might have confused him a little bit with all the different Fram filters that are available. One thing to keep in mind, no matter what oil filter you pick, as long as it says Fram, you can't go wrong. Fram has a 96% efficiency rating. That is the highest in the industry, and that's the rating the first time the oil passes through the filter of taking the particles out. Now, it's actually quite simple. The bread and butter filter of the industry has always been the Fram Extra Guard. That's the bread and butter. There shouldn't really be any confusion because all the Sure Grip filter is, is that same great Extra Guard filter with a non-slip covering on the one cap to make it easier for you or whoever does your oil changing. And the Double Guard is simply that same great Extra Guard filter technology. It's still that 96% efficiency rating taking those particles out but it also has a Teflon additive for engine protection. So the first time the oil passes through this, your engine's protected with an engine treatment as well. Same great filter. Don't forget, if you use any Fram, Prestone, Bendix, or Autolite product, 
We'd like to hear about it, and if we use your letter, you can win a great assortment of prizes. Yeah, that didn't look too bad, Jeff. That looked like a good fish. He came out of the water. He's coming up again. And, oh, that's yeah, at least three, I guess. Yeah, it's a good fish. It, it's really deceiving this time of year because they're at least a half a pound heavier than you think they are because of the way they're fattening up. Yeah, these, these have all been real healthy fish. I don't think a lot of guys use these Carolina rigs for uh, smallmouth as much as they should. I mean, traditionally out here, we've had so many fish that have the regular jig and tube down the throat and a little trickle of blood coming out of them. But, um, geez, you, you guys uh, must add, these are a brand new tube hook? Yeah, it's a, it's a totally new hook for us, and it's uh, got a brand new hook point. Hook point as well. Missed one there. <laughs> it's uh, a new improved needle point, uh, which we're calling ultra point, and it's basically a new way of sharpening. And what it gives you is uh, a needle point that's, wow, that's a nice fish. That's a nice chunk. It's a real nice fish. But see, this is what impresses me is I was using this on on, uh, on Sunday, pre-fishing a bit before you came up, mm -hmm. and every fish is hooked in the mouth, not down the throat. Yeah. It's a healthy hook. Um, and the thing I noticed with this too, is it's your, is it your opti point? Uh, opti angle, yeah. Opti angle. Mm -hmm. And I mean, anybody that's watched my show in the, uh, the last eight years, they know I'm a fanatic with sharp hooks. Just touch a rock, catch a fish, sharpen the hooks. Yep. I've got the lure just to file on hand. I must have went through before I lost the hook, so I can't even say how many more fish I would have had, but I must have mm -hmm. went through 15 fish that day and never had to sharpen that hook again. That's great. That's, that's so, the whole concept behind it, is uh, not getting rolled points on either the, the bottom or uh, rocks or, or on the, the bony mouth of the fish, uh, not having to, to retie and put a new hook on every time you get a fish or to, to waste time uh, hitting the hook with a file. Well, that's just it. I used to have to, you know, when I did it with a file, I'd have a real nice long taper needle point, but every time I caught a fish, I'd bend the, bar, I'd bend the tip over. And uh, you lose a fish, you come in, and the hook's bent over, and you think, oh, I hit bone, and it didn't penetrate. And I'm not having that with these. Yeah, that, that's an inherent problem with, uh, with any needle hook point that's made, uh, whether it's ours or one of our competitors. It's uh, it's just an inherent weakness. Uh, they're really sharp, but they're not that durable. And uh, this new Ultra Point is uh, so far in testing uh, with guys like you and our uh, pros. Uh, we've uh, noticed a, a real big difference in not having to replace hooks. Uh, the only time we replace hooks is when they end up on the bottom or in a fish, and we break them off. And uh, it's, it's been saved a lot of time. And I think the anglers are uh, are, are really going to like them when they come concept. out. Excellent concept. Excellent. Looks like a better fish, Jeff. Yeah, this feels like a pretty good one. A little more weight than that last one. It's nice to be able to stick them once <laughs> and know the hook's in them. Yeah. It's, now, uh, these ultra points, you've, uh, is that going to be on, on other hooks, or is that just uh, specific hooks, specialty hooks? Well, what we're going to do is uh, we won't do any conventional needle point anymore. We're going we're gonna to transfer. Come here, buddy. Uh, you want to slide them over? Maybe yeah, you can sure. get them for me. We're gonna we're gonna transfer Ooh, over. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> that's a nice smallie. You know that that's it's heavier than it probably looks. Look at the thickness on that fish. Jeez, that's a that's a chunk. That's a big small. That's mount. a good fish. That's a real nice fish. So the ultra points are gonna be on. We're gonna we're gonna we won't do any conventional needle point anymore. Uh, from uh, from this point on and in, in the 2000 and beyond, every needle point hook we have will be. Uh, will be ultra point. And uh, we've just found that it's uh, it's superior to uh, a standard needle point, and um, there's just no reason to, to stay with a conventional needle point. So we feel everything should be transferred over to this because it's working out so well. well you gave me a so. small pack of the new ultra point triple grips. I put them on some speed traps the other day when I did mm -hmm. a show out here. Number one, the triple grip is incredible for crankbaits because the fish cannot throw a hook anymore because yep. it just gets locked yep. in that back corner. But I'll tell you, again, it's those ultra ultra points that are just so sharp, you don't have to touch them straight up in the package. And they don't bend over no matter how many fish you catch. You gristle the bone, and that's that, that opti angle that uh, that I guess you're going to make real famous because it keeps its point. Yeah, we uh, we did a lot of testing with them fishing uh, originally for steelhead because we're bouncing bottoms constantly and losing a lot of hooks, uh, bending points over, and 
I spent about three days uh, fishing them for, for steelhead this past spring, and that's all it took to know that that ultra point was, was going to be it. Boy, you know, if people just realized if they went out a little deeper than they usually fish in the summer, they get into all these fish all fall long. Once they come in from being suspended out in the mid depths all summer, you know, you talk to some of the charter guys, and uh, they talk about, oh, I got a five pound smallie, I got a six pound smallie fishing for walleye. If they only realize those fish come in to very reachable depths, only a mile from shore, and then slowly work themselves out a little deeper and basically get ready to sit there for the entire winter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could just tell how well they're feeding. <laughs> That, I don't but think you could fit feel, anything feel, else. Feel this fish. I don't think you could fit anything else. You wouldn't have been able to get that tube jig down well, inside. I'm them. surprised. I'm surprised I don't see uh, more bait and crayfish sticking out of their gullet. That is a, that is a real. He's in real good shape going into the fall. Yeah. And they do get bigger than this. Like, this is a world class fishery. But you know, if one thing we found out a few years ago, if you're not using a salt tube. You're not catching fish. It's got to be salt. These culprit salt tubes are uh, the absolute best that I've been using. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, I just missed mine too, Jeff. Well, he came up quick. Yeah, he did. I don't want to get tangled in you, but no, they're down there. <laughs> there we get around this side here. How are we? There we go. Yeah. You know, we haven't hooked one fish today that's been out of reach with the hook hanging out of the corner of the mouth. Yep. I it's a real to... treat to digging them out with pliers or just sacrificing the jig to give to the fish. Yep. I don't remember the last time I haven't had to use a pair of pliers during a day's fish and every single one. Especially using been... salt tubes because they usually suck them right down out of sight. Yep. And I'm sure they're doing that with these too, but at least we're not hooking them until they start coming out. That looked like another nice fish, Jeff. Yeah, you've got a, that might be the best fish of the day, I don't know. Yeah, so far. They're all so hefty though seem to have gotten into a little group of fish here. Well, you know what? I hardly put any rod to that fish, and that hook was set because he came up and jumped awful quick. <laughs> I got a little guy. Now, as good as these ultra points are, Jeff, how much more expensive are they going to be than the regular mustads? Um, there's going to be like megabytes. Uh, and no difference in price. You look at what our megabytes are selling for now, and uh, when these come out uh, in 2000, the beginning of 2000, they're going to be the same price. Wow, so all this new technology, better hook. Better hook and... Uh, better, uh, same price. Yep, same Ooh, price. that is a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Look at that. Not down the gullet. Just nicely set in the corner. Another victim of the salt tube. <laughs> the old culprit, eh? <laughs> wow. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. That's a real nice fish. <laughs> I, I just, I'm amazed by uh, how good a shape all these fish are in. Beautiful color, They're, and I don't think they can get any fatter. Wow. <laughs> Where can you go around the May Toronto, Buffalo? I, I, I mean, there was, what, three boats out here today with us? It was yeah. a little rough when we started. They were, they were a, a better than a mile away from us. I've, I've done a lot I of don't traveling. I soul out here right now, and how no. many fish have we caught today alone? I've lost track. It's been well over 50, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been kind of slow today, honestly, with the coal front. Real nice fish.
you've got a problem, a big problem. You're losing fish from bent hook points. That's why Mustad created new Ultra Point Premium Hooks. They're ultra sharp and ultra strong. Here's a standard needle point with just three pounds of pressure. Now here's Ultra Point with three pounds. You get the point. New Ultra Point Hooks from Mustad. They're ultra sharp and ultra strong. So you'll have no problem catching more fish. Is it a coincidence our air fresheners smell of pine forests? Accept it. You belong outside. See, you're not the only one that can catch them. <laughs> <laughs> he has like pretty good one. He hit that, Jess. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, that is a good one. He hit that when I was just lifting it up and I had nowhere to go with the hook set. All I did was just touch them a little bit. If these hooks weren't as sharp as they are, or these culprit salt tubes as tasty as they are, he wouldn't have held onto that or got stuck. But you can look at this drift sock. If the camera can just pan to that drift sock for a second. Look at the murkiness. You can't see the bottom of that drift sock hardly. Lake Erie's hardly ever like this. We've had a solid wind of probably eight, nine, ten foot waves out here. A solid week of just straight wind. And like I said earlier, the guys that come out here for a brief time, they thought, oh, this this is not normal. I, I, I quit. That's a real chunk. Persistence. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> How's that, Jess? He is big. That's Lake Erie. That's Lake Erie. That's a huge, wow. huge smallie. <laughs> Dandy. Wow. Well, Jess, you have fun? Yeah. You caught a lot of fish today. Yeah, I caught almost every fish. You caught yeah. almost every fish that hit, so you didn't miss many. Mm -hmm. Makes a big difference, folks. Make sure you use something great like any of these new culprit salt tubes out here. The bass just grab on and they will not let go. And I know I've said it probably 20,000 times today, but these new Ultra Point hooks from Mustad are so sharp, you'll notice the difference immediately. Now, something I've used is one of these plain old tackle logic systems. If you're like me and you have trouble organizing all your plastics and all your tackle, these come with dividers and you can just use that to organize your plastics and keep it all in a nice little pouch so I don't have lures and plastics all over the boat. And something else that's important, if you enjoy fishing the Great Lakes, don't get caught up with all the fancy glitter and flash of a bass boat. Something like this Crest Liner is so stable, so family oriented and safe. I'm six feet tall and I, I hear over 200 pounds. I've always loved side consoles because most boats never had room for the dual console. But I can walk through here in a rough day without worrying about dislocating my hip on one of these consoles. It's got room. Keep that in mind. Till next week, I'm Charlie Ray with Fishful Thinking.